The following Sunday afternoon, I was invited to the Andersons for brunch, which most of us call lunch. I was enjoying myself immensely when Mr. A inquired, Molly, have you recovered from the, um, incident concerning Dr. Winters? I had a mouthful of mashed potatoes and chewed it up fast to answer my boss's inquiry. Yes, Mr. A. I'm over the shock anyway. I just have to get over the feeling that I have a target on my back. My job description had taken a giant leap from chauffeuring to feature writing. I was trying hard to live up to everyone's expectations. Today, the senior minister alerted me that a new music minister will arrive this week. It is fortuitous that Dr. Bell is coming. She has been learning the ropes by shadowing Dr. Winters in his classes. She was to be Dr. Winters' protege, but now I suppose she is the music minister. The secretary assured me that as soon as the new music minister arrives, I will be immediately informed. He forked in roast and potatoes and continued, Of course, we'll do an interview at some point, but I wouldn't want anyone to feel uncomfortable. I can do it, Dad, Finn offered. I don't think Molly wants to be around any bells just now. The newsletter announced a completely new lineup this holiday season. I wonder if they'll keep to it since, you know, Phil said as she passed the gravy to me. I nodded and focused on carefully passing the Wedgwood gravy boat, which was worth more than my car. Yes, I heard that too, Finn said, and took the gravy boat from my sweaty palms. Thank God that Mr. A was fully recovered and appeared to approve of my dating his firstborn. I had to admit, he wasn't the curmudgeon that I'd always thought. Now if we could just change the subject. Yes, Phil continued. The buzz is that our church choir will be combining with the handbell class that Dr. Winters taught at the community college. Anyone can volunteer. They must go through the training. What do you think of me joining, Phineas? Are you up to it, Molly? Oh, dear. I've said the wrong thing again and brought up bad memories. And there it was, in front of God and everybody. The house became extremely quiet, and all eyes were in my direction. I chewed longer than necessary and finally swallowed. Um... I don't know. After the interview, I'll know more details, I said very quickly and stuffed my mouth with dressing. Pshaw, girl, there's nothing to it. If children can do it, you know you can, too, Phil insisted. After your interview, you'll change your tune, Phil said and laughed at her little joke. Then eyed me. Mr. A stared at Phil in an effort to shut her up which she purposely ignored. The roast is delicious, Mom, Finn said in an effort to change the subject. Is this your doing, or is it the new cook? No, I prepared it. Maria made the side dishes, Phil answered and blotted her lips. She took a sip of wine and continued on the subject like a laser beam. The handbell choir will be fun. We get to wear gloves and gorgeous Christmas clothes. I must do some research into what is proper attire for a handbell choir. I don't believe I've ever seen one. Phil rambled on in her own world, and for the life of me, I recalled Lovey from Gilligan's Island. Everyone at the table knew that I couldn't refuse Phil, dead body or not. The dearly departed Dr. Winter's passing had been ruled as a heart attack. Even thought it was mysterious that one moment he was playing music and the next minute conked out. I suppose that's how heart attacks happen.